What's going on? What's going on, YouTube, or however, however you may find this? Welcome back to Backed Up. I'm your host, Gibbs Gibbs, with your co host, Sly Rider Prophet. Yep, in the building. We just try to do what to do on a regular basis, as usual. Um, we try to keep it 100% real with you with what's going on and the facts of the things that are happening. And we talk about a whole host of things that's going on, how music plays in and out of a lot of different things and how it affects our lives, as well as the different social issues and how we just need to have a conversation. Um, so today we wanted to talk about Daniel Prude. Oh, yeah. Now, some of you know that um, Daniel Prude was another unarmed black man who died in police custody. Yeah. Um, he was um, having a mental break and he was on drugs. Um, the issue is not whether or not he was going through a difficult time um, because his brother called the police because his brother was going through a difficult time and he exactly. knew that he needed help. Yeah. So in an effort to do the right thing, he called the authorities out and said, hey, you know, my brother is having a mental break. I don't know if he's actually having a mental break or if it's the drugs that he's on, but I really need help to get yeah. him to a facility where he can get the help that he needs. The police responded. Um, he was outside. He was naked. They managed to, to get him under control and they handcuffed him, um, at which point he started spinning. So the police then put the, the mesh sock over his head and you can breathe through it. Um, and he was, he was fine in that state. The issue is now that they have him um, controlled, he's still on the ground, he's naked. The next step should be, you know, getting him to the place that he needs to go. Oh, well, yeah. some, for some reason that nobody seems to really want to talk about, his life was snuffed out. Here it is. He's handcuffed. There's a mess sock over his head, so he can't spit at any more of the officers. Uh -huh. They did their job up until that point. So please explain to me how he asphyxiated. That's a good question. I mean, I was, somebody, was somebody kneeling on him again? You know, uh -huh. like we 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 know we know that not every human being is the best of humanity, but that doesn't mean that the best of humanity should treat them like they're less than. Exactly. I mean, when someone's in custody, when they're already in custody, there's no need to put them on the ground and put your knee on their neck. I, mean, I just don't understand why that happens. You know what I mean? Regardless if he's like spitting or anything, it's like, yeah, prisoners do that sometimes. It doesn't mean you kill them. I mean, they're like people in custody. The man's clearly in distress, clearly mentally disturbed. You know, he's clearly got issues and he's clearly crying out for help. You know what I mean? And that's what we talk about. We're talking about reallocations of funds. You know, it's not just, it's not defunding, it's reallocation, you know, for mental health workers. But what do you say to the people that say, you know, well, he should have just complied? Like, what do you say to those people? It's hard to know what to say to those people because, I mean, I feel like certain people are going to have their perception and, like, you know, some people will listen when you say certain things, but some people are just like, no, oh, you know, we should have complied, whatever, it's so on. It's just like, well, it's, it's not that cut and dry. You know, this was clearly a different situation where a mental health worker would have been a lot better, you know, in dealing with it, you know, and it's not. And I mean, it's just it doesn't make any sense. I mean, the man clearly has no weapons. He's naked. You know, well, I mean, it just doesn't you know what I mean? Like there's there's no excuse for excessive force like that in that situation. It's not like he's like wielding like a gun or a knife and coming at you or something like that. You know, what I mean, that's a totally different situation, you know, but like nine times, most of these situations stuff doesn't seem to be happening. It seems like it's just like like that guy in his backyard it was on his cell phone. Now, I forget when that happened. That was a while back. He just they they shot him. It wasn't even the same guy they were looking for. You know what I mean? I was just like, is that like the immediate response? Like bam, bam, bam. You know, it's just like that shouldn't be. We need to train our police officers. That's, better. that's the unfortunate nature. Yeah. Um, and 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 and, and I welcome having a conversation with, with police officers. Oh, yeah. so if any of you police officers listening, you're more than welcome to come on this show and give your point of view. Mm -hmm. From the other side, give a different perspective. We're all about having a conversation and learning. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and I also understand that not every police station is is the same. However, there's been way too many instances exactly. of wrongdoing on the parts of police departments. So so I would definitely love to hear the perspective from a police officer oh, yeah. on these types of things. You know, because from, from where we sit, the black community has seen this stuff happen for years. 
Now it's being filmed. So I would really love to hear what they have to say in regards to it. How do you feel about it? Why are innocent people being killed? Yeah. You know, why are criminals being killed? Yeah, it doesn't make any people sense. People do bad things, you know, but that doesn't give you the right to take their life. That's why we have the laws. So if you're taking their life before they get their day in court, then you're just as bad as they are. Yeah. Regardless of what you swore to protect, regardless of what your reason behind it is, whether you say, well, I'm trying to protect you, but you're just as bad as a criminal that committed that crime by snuffing out their life because you felt, well, well, in this situation, this is the option that I had to take. <laughs> and, in, and in 80% of those instances, that just hasn't been proven to be true. Exactly. It's not the option. George Floyd, that, that you needed to have your knee on his neck after he was handcuffed lying on the ground. There's yeah. two of you kneeling on him. So he's clearly not going anywhere. Why can't you take your knee off his neck? Because There's one of you kneeling on his back. Oh, so, yeah. so, so why? Yeah. And Tell other, me what the purpose of that was. Yeah. And the other guys are standing there, just standing around, letting it happen. You know, all because he made some like supposedly fraudulent purchase at the convenience store. It's like, is that the death sentence? Like, because he, because the guy thought his check or his money was not good or something like that. I forget exactly what it was. Like, don't quote, I mean, forget, you know, to, forgive me if like, I'm not accurate on that, but it's just like, it's ridiculous that that was the reason. You know, I just don't understand like how that goes from now that escalates to that. You know, even if he was what, whatever, it doesn't matter. It doesn't give me the right to it kill a guy. You know, is this like, is this Saudi Arabia where we saw your, we saw your hands off? You know, or something, you know. You know, but at least at least let people know what the punishment's gonna be. Lyrics, Give yeah. them an act depiction of what, like if we're if 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 the standard's gonna be when we call the police and, and you're gonna get shot or killed, then make that known. And then whatever choice yeah. you make as an individual, yeah. at least you know what you're about to get into. But if we're gonna say that we're a nation of laws that uphold the laws, yeah. that means that no one can above the law. That includes the president of the United States, all the way down to the lowest, lowest form of, of its citizens. Oh yeah, so we have to maintain that standard. Yeah. So when the police make a mistake, because they will make a mistake, there has to be a separate entity. Oh yeah. That holds them accountable. Yeah. They shouldn't be. They shouldn't be policing themselves. That's the thing. If that was the case, you wouldn't need a police force because the human humans. Would police themselves yeah and it's like we do have it but like internal affairs but internal affairs is still the police investigating themselves if you really think about it they're still you know what i mean it's still internal it's called internal affairs you know what i mean it's like that's like and they and it doesn't seem that doesn't seem to make a dent in it like because like we've talked about the police unions you know like the situation you know with that little girl with the same again rochester police department which is interesting you know my I've, i have family from upstate new york so my whole family's from up there in rochester syracuse so that makes me it makes me sad, you know, on many levels, you know, it's just, it's just shouldn't be happening, but it's like the police unions, it's such a, such a stranglehold on everything. You know I mean? I hate to say, you know I mean? Not, you know, like, I don't mean to sound, make it sound so harsh, but it's like, it is. I mean, they don't allow for any change to happen. There's no reform happens. You know what I mean? And it's like, all they can do is sit there and say like, Oh, you're trying to like, you know, take our funding away and do this. No, they're trying to reallocate funds to mental health workers so that you're not, you know, like, so that we don't have to go like this way all the time. You know, excessive force like doesn't have to be the, the answer. Lethal force doesn't have to be the answer. And people will talk about like the you know like protests turning into riots. So it's like, yeah, well, I don't think an arrest should turn into a murder. You know, I don't think that should happen. You know, unless, you know, unless you're in imminent danger, imminent. You know, like unless someone's point, pointing a gun, you know, or you know, so, like unless someone like that's it. You know, I, I don't. I don't understand how people just can't see that. I just, I, it, it frustrates me to no degree when you can see it. Like, I physically, fr I just don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. You know, like people that, like, it's just crazy. You know, they talk about, like, kind of all lives matter and all that crap. It's like, do, do they really? Is that all that's, you know, like, I mean, come on, you know, all this blue lives matter stuff. You know what I mean? It's like, but that's only blue lives matter when it's against, you know, like, when it's against black lives matter, you know, but when it's people storming the Capitol, you know. I hate when people say blue lives matter. Ah. And I'll tell you why. Yeah. First off, being a police is a profession. It's a career choice. Okay? So your 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 life matters, yes. Hmm. But the profession that you the profession that you choose does not matter. Like you chose a career path. I chose my career path. Exactly. So if I'm standing for a cause, I'm not going to throw my occupation out there yeah. as 
as a as a as part of the cause that matters. No, yeah. that's not how it goes. Yeah, you made a career choice. Yeah, your career choice is not a life. Exactly. Your 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 career choice is just that a career exactly. choice. Yeah, it's not your. So other. you you the individual in the career, your life matters, but your career does not matter in that sense. Exactly. Because it's a career choice. Yeah. So when people are like, oh, blue lives, blue lives matter. The the men and women in that profession matter, but the title of your profession means absolutely nothing to me. Exactly. Nothing. Exactly. Because the title is just a string of words put together exactly. that, that dictates what you do for a living. Not whether or not your life has more value or not than somebody else's. And when you give it that connotation, you're saying, hey. There's white lives, there's black lives, there's yellow lives, there's brown lives, and then there's police lives. Well, wait a minute. I thought being a police was a career, <laughs> yeah, not a life. Yeah. So that, so, I, like, can we stop saying that? Seriously, I can't yeah. stand that, honestly. Recognize the individuals that do that career choice, but that career choice is not a life. Yeah, it's a choice. Like, that's it's not, you know, you're not born a police officer. You know, you're not. Right. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. Blue lives matter. Blue, blue lives matter. It's like that. It's and you're going to have the symbol of the Punisher as, as your, you know what I mean? Like, you, you do not realize the, the history behind the Punisher. I know. He's a vigilante. He's a vigilante. But, but, but yeah, lives matter. Well, wait a minute. So you have a fraternity of brotherhood. Yeah. Bonded together oh, yeah. with one common group, and you're and you're and you identify with being the vigilante punisher. So yeah. you take justice into your own hands. Oh well, now it makes sense why we have so many killings. Oh yeah, and you know me, I'm a comic book fan. You know, Punisher's cool, but it's like I don't I don't like the fact that that's been like they're trying to take that. You know, like that's just like as I'm like that doesn't like stop. You know, just like stop doing that. You know what I mean? It's like typical like ignorant. You know, like you know white American males. You know, like just like oh I'm taking this. I'm taking this, you know, like, for, oh, God, you know, like, it's just like, no, you know. No regret for what it means or That's what the implications of it are. You know what I'm saying? And what if there's some kid who loves the Punisher and it's all of a sudden it's like a bad thing and it's just like, you know, it's just, it's, it creates this whole other connotation around it. It's just like, no, you have no right to do that, you know? Like, say what you want to say, whatever. Say it over there, okay? Go, go, stand, on, go stand on the corner. And shut up, you know, like, get the hell out of here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just like I'm just I'm just done with these friggin' ignorant people, dude. I'm just so tired of people's like perceptions of life. You know, it's just like like there's you're either a good person. So how do we change it? I how do we how do we change it? You're either a good person, you're a bad person. I mean, we really have to just come to that conclusion you know, as as a as a world. It's just like true, that, but being a bad person doesn't mean that doesn't mean that you still don't belong in society. True, just because you're if you haven't broken any laws, you still true. get the same rights that I do. Exactly. So how do we get those? how do we get those bad people as far as moral integrity go to, to understand, or at the very least acknowledge certain basic tenets that they just cannot do the yeah. same way we're taught basic tenets. Now it's like we're, we have to teach a new generation yeah. on how to, how to act, how to respond. It's almost as if yeah. we're going back to the days of kindergarten where nobody ever saw color. You're taught color. Seriously. I mean, you know, you, know you definitely are. You know, I mean, I think it's Outside a, of the curiosity of a child, like, hey, you look different than me. Yeah. And that child is, never means it in any any negative way because they don't know how to. So oh, yeah. we give that meaning. Oh, yeah. It's not malicious. So, They're curious. No, not, not at all. It's, yeah. it's curiosity. And you're like, huh, you look different than me. Why do you look different yeah. than me? Oh, well, we're, we're born. We're born to have different skin. Oh, but yeah. I'm just like you. Oh, yeah. Like that. Why? Why is that not played up and and welcomed and embraced? Yeah, and it's come a long way. Yeah, it's gotten better. You know, as far like like there's so many so many white folks who are standing up, who are talking about the injustices that we face. Uh -huh. So so the message is out there. People right. are doing the right thing. People are siding on the right side of history. Oh yeah. But how do we keep this long lasting? Yeah. And that starts with laws that are primarily designed oh, yeah. to keep certain races down. No question. I mean and that's why I say we need to be equal in the equal in the law. Oh, yeah. I don't want what you have. I don't need 
what you have. Yeah. I got two two feet, two arms. You know, I can get up and go get it for myself. And if I don't, if I don't do for me, then I don't deserve to eat. Yeah. You know, and if I do something to wrong you, then I do deserve to be punished for it yeah. in, a, in a criminal sense. Yeah. Absolutely. But that's not, I'm not looking to take from you. I want to be treated equal under the eyes of the law. Yeah, which it should be. And it clearly, it, it, it's not. Look at the Capitol riots. Exactly. Again, we keep coming back to that when they beat that poor police officer to death. And the other, any other guy, one of the other police officers took his own life, too. That's like, it's just awful, dude. Like, I'm just... When I see people talking about, oh, my goodness, you know, we have, you know, they're, they're insurrectionists. They're talking about the FBI director who's talking. They're like, oh, he needs to be sacked because, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So first, you're saying that it wasn't Trump supporters that stormed. stormed it. You're, at first, you acknowledge Trump supporters went to the Capitol. Then when it turned violent, you say, well, they were fake Trump supporters. Then when it escalated beyond that, you said it was Antifa and the Proud Boys, which we know were there, and there were militia groups there as well. So now you're putting the sole blame on them yeah. for the riots. And then when you call it what it is, domestic yeah. terrorism, and so it's just, say then you, you yeah. push the goalposts further and say, hey, <laughs> yeah. well, wait a minute. Well, what about Black Lives Matter? Did you see any Black Lives Matter destroying the Capitol building? Now, we already talked about this before where we denounced violence and we said yeah. violence is wrong. Oh, yeah. And that FBI director, while he was talking, said he called all of them domestic terrorists. So he equated Black Lives Matter and the Capitol rioters to mistake. domestic terrorists. Yeah. Well, if you're going to call it down the middle, he's calling it down the middle. Black Lives Matter, you're wrong for destroying stuff. You're a domestic terrorist. Insurrectionists um, yeah. trying to blow up government, you're terrorists. That's about as down the middle as you can get. And now people want to vilify him for calling the insurrectionists terrorists. Yeah. Well, that's, what, 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 you know, that's the thing is they can't even take responsibility for the things they do. And like this whole Antifa thing is just so funny to me because I'm like, first of all, Antifa is not a real organization. It's an ideology. It's called anti-fascism. And I don't know when anti-fascism became such a bad thing in this country. I mean, World War II was fought for a reason. My grandfather was a navigator in World War II. He flew like 29 missions. God, God rest his soul. My other grandfather was a guard at the Nuremberg trials when they tried to Nazis for their war crimes when he was 19. So, I mean, I have a really like World War. I mean, I just, fasc I don't understand when anti fascism became this bad thing. It's just wild to me because I'm like, well, what, what was World War II fought for? You, you would rather be under a fascist dictatorship under the Nazis in the Japanese Empire? Are you kidding me? You know, Mussolini? I don't think so. You know, like that's like yeah, no, that's this whole thing. Tough times, tough times. It's, it's crazy, man. You know what I mean? It's just like, and, but like Antifa is not a real thing. It's just, it's a, it's a mindset. It's like anti, it's anti-fascism and Antifa didn't start being a thing or start being talked about, you know, which is just, you know, it, again, it's a mindset, but it wasn't even a thing until Trump got into office because Trump is an autocrat. He's a fascist. He's a, he's, you know what I mean? Like people don't even realize they're letting the devil in the back door. Oh, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta stick to the facts. Now he's a Republican. He's, he's a, a Republican. I don't like Trump. And Okay. He's a devil. And if we're gonna, if we're gonna, if we're gonna give him credit, you know, he believes in the Republican values, and a lot of them believe in Christianity, and and evangelicals um, back him a, a lot of the way. Trump is not. Um, but there is this thing called the Bible, right? And the yeah. Bible is a sacred text to many millions of Americans, yeah. and in the Bible it talks about not worshiping any other idol gods. There's a little little passage in there that talks about that. Um, and so when I see the CPAC um take place and i see how the stage is formed out of nazism symbolism um i don't know if symbolism is for it but we'll go with it and Symbolism's. then i see this enormous trump golden calf if you will Very that's how it's dictated the bible yeah. and i see these people literally hugging and worshiping this thing that was the weird well thing. wait a minute Hang on a i second. thought you believed in the sacred text that says, thou shalt not worship idols and false gods. <laughs> and you have this golden Trump yeah. that you're hugging and, and, and saying, hey. And then what's crazy crazy about that is, is like, there's no, they don't see anything wrong with it. I know. It's That's wild. just Yeah, it's wild. I, that photo was, was one of the just a creepy, disturbing. I don't know. I just, I, unnerving. Like, I saw the picture of that. They're all like, around the statue i was like what is that like what what why <laughs> why 
it's just it was just so and let's not let's also talk about the fact that the stage was in the shape of a of, a, of an old of an old nazi symbol that nobody seems to want to acknowledge um which is interesting you know false idols nazi symbols where are we going with this you know what i mean i don't know where's where's this where's this train going you know probably nowhere good you know I'll tell you that right now you know i'm just no, ignorance I, ignorance is bliss i guess ignorance you know, is bliss. you want to dwell in that false existence you know what i mean like you know it's just like and the, I, the, but you I, also have to remember, Hitler was able to move mountains because right. he got everybody wrapped up in their own pride. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so when you think about yourself and you believe in yourself, mm. and then you identify with someone who's also believing in you, you'll believe just about whatever they tell you. That that's that's why people like that's why these so many of these ignorant people like him so much because they're like, oh, see, he thinks the way I do. I can identify with him. I'm not wrong. You know what I mean? Or something. <laughs> crazy thing like that you know it's like no you are wrong and there's nothing wrong with a sense of belonging there's nothing wrong with wanting to identify with somebody who says a lot of the same things you say but there yeah. is a danger yeah and under not understanding when when it's going to be detrimental yeah. to everybody as a whole yeah it is a problem you know because not not one person's idea yeah. fits all yeah and it is a problem it resembles so like, like, on how to on how to cure diseases yeah dr fauci is head of a group of scientists leading the charge yeah. on covid he's been there you know but he's not the only one exactly. his one idea is not the best idea that's why they have to collab oh yeah so when you're talking to somebody who's leading the charge yes it helps to identify but you as an individual also need to have an independent thought an yeah. independent idea to be able to say wow yeah i agree with that i agree with that yeah. hold on buddy Wait a minute. I don't necessarily agree with that. Why would you want to do that? Yeah, and question yeah. and then, then think about it. Yeah. But when you give them carte blanche, when you give somebody the power to do whatever it is that they want to do, exactly. well, it's going to go to your head. I don't oh, care yeah. who you are. Oh, yeah. That's what human beings do. Yeah. We crave power. Yeah. That's just sure. it's what, what it is. It's not yeah. cool. It's not right. But it's how we are biologically made up. We yeah. like to be in control. Yeah, we, we really do. I mean, abs you know, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely, as they say, you know. Yep. But the ironic part is some of these people think they think they're freedom fighters. And I'm like, and they're on, like, they're on the and I'm like, how could you possibly think that? Like Donald Trump, Donald Trump is your general. That guy that I used to see on the lifestyles of the rich and famous back in the early 90s, hey, Donald Trump. Oh, and I forgot about that. Are you kidding me? The guy has been married four times, adultery, slept with porn stars. You know, like he's, he's. He, I, I mean, bankrupt, got Lord knows how many times, sued Lord knows how many. I mean, come, that's that's your great your great leader, businessman. No. Are you kidding? And he's actually forced to actually have to be deposed under rape allegations, which he couldn't. He he wasn't forced to do because he was a sitting president. Yeah. Like we haven't. Like Let's not forget about all these things. Oh, God. Everybody yeah. talks about Sleepy Joe and his oh. crimes. You know what? Joe Biden committed crimes. Arrest is behind, too. Yeah. But right now, we're, we're not talking that. about Joe Biden. Joe Biden is trying to run the country. Exactly. And so you know, look at how we hemmed up, we tied up the hands of, of Trump and, and all this other stuff. Let's call it down the middle. Yep. Are you saying, are you saying it's okay for him to do the things that he's doing? Seriously. He has a and lot please tell me what policies you're referring to when you say he was a great president. Please tell me. What policies? The only thing, as far as I can tell, as far as his policy goes, yeah. is he built the wall. He said he was going to build the wall. He built the wall. Congratulations. Whoopee. He did what he said he was going to do. Yeah. Please tell me what his foreign policy was. Yeah. I'll wait. And this thing is called boats and planes, by the way, in case you forgot about that. Um, <laughs> tunnels. You know, there's, there's ways to get around that. Um, <laughs> build the wall. I'm like, okay, because that worked before, right? That, you know, that worked with the Roman Empire. Yeah, that worked out well. You know, like you know, like you were talking. Yeah. You know, that didn't. You know, like you were like you were like you were talking about the Roman Empire didn't last. You know, and we're only in half that. You know, like, come on. You know, we need to like we need to check ourselves. You know, and and you know before we wreck ourselves in the immortal words of you know Das Effects. You know, the, like, the you Roman know? <laughs> Empire failed because they were corrupted from within. Yeah, and I don't care what part, Democrat or Republican, if we don't understand as an American people yeah. that our system is failing us. At, at an uh, outstanding rate right now, we are going to end up like the Roman Empire right. and we will be taken over by another country Shit. if we don't get our stuff together. Yeah, people don't you think know. it could definitely happen. 
know. But because we we're so full of ourselves, but yeah. you know, it is it it is what it is, you know. And we have to stop stop things like killings of unarmed people. You know, we have to feel safe as a citizen, as a community, as a people, as an American people to be able to look to one another and feel okay, be able to agree to disagree, be able to have conversations about tough topics and understand that a good outcome can come out of it. Even if we do disagree, a good compromise can come out of it. If we do disagree, that's what government was supposed to be. You working for us on our behalf on big issues Mm -hmm. where we want to compromise because we understand it takes compromise. Oh, yeah. to have successful relationships. Seriously. And in order to compromise, you have to have communication, open dialogue. But yeah. we put it to you. You know, what would you do? If you were if you were an officer and, and you want to talk about this and give your perspective on it, I definitely would, would love to hear from you. But what can we do to solve it? What can we do to yeah. fix these issues? Gotta Just work. more yeah. questions. Well, let's have a conversation. Thanks for tuning okay. in to Mike Up Podcast. Sly ride a profit in the building, gives you gives your hopes in the building. We're gonna do what it do. Until next time, we'll see you later. Peace.